Good afternoon, Sean. According to those neighbors and the woman's boss, she was in her early 50s and lived in the back apartment where you see the major crime scene van parked over my shoulder here on Main Street in Fremont. Also, that she was the type of person who always made you feel good about yourself. Neighbors say they first noticed the police showing up at 296 Main Street in Fremont around 5.30 in the morning. Prior to that, there was no indication that anything was wrong. I didn't hear anything. Um, and then my boyfriend gets up and goes to work at 5 o'clock in the morning. And I saw nothing at, at 5 o'clock when he went to work. In the back apartment, the blinds remain closed, something out of the ordinary. According to the neighbors, you could set your clock by the woman who lived there. She would open her blinds the same time every morning and then make her way to work. She was very friendly. She was, um, she was a tiny little thing. Um, but she would walk every morning to the store, and, and um, if we were out here, she'd always stop and say hello and talk, with, especially with my mother. The store where the woman worked, Liberty Square Market, is about 200 yards down the road. Owner Barry Arnofsky says he got a call this morning from Fremont Police telling him his employee had passed away. He says she had worked for him for about three years. You're always smiling at uh, making, making the people People will come in just making our day. Arnofsky says he doesn't have any idea what happened, but he called his employee indispensable. You ask her to do anything, she'll do it for you, and she's going to be really missed. There's been no official word from the Attorney General's office as to what might have happened here, but in the last hour we did know uh, notice the state police helicopter crisscrossing overhead, so it's evident there's some sort of search going on. Reporting live in Fremont, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.